First one is, uh, I'm highly skilled and do a good job at my company, but unfortunately I have to work with people that are very mediocre and envious. I'm friendly to everyone, but do not share any private details about my life, nor do I care about my workmates private life. Workmates often seem to hate you when you are good and try to discredit you behind your back. How would you proceed in such a situation? So honestly, I don't know because I, I will say some of the words in this made me think that you might be coming off and may truly be uh, feeling superior to them in a way that is perhaps unwarranted. So the, the parts that made me think that, which is, and these could also be true things. I was going to say, why do you think that it's unwarranted? It might be warranted. You know what I mean? It, it totally might be, but I'm just going to say so because I'm not there. I don't know. But that, you know, that they're mediocre and that you're disinterested in them in their lives. Now, there's a circumstance that you could throw me into where I would feel entirely justified saying both of those things. <laughs> Be like, everyone's mediocre and I don't care. Um, I guess I feel like we might have a larger problem here, which I just want to call attention to, which is if you don't care about any of your coworkers and you think they're all mediocre, I think you should be looking elsewhere. Number one, now, I'll come back to your question, but it's like, yeah, if you're surrounded by people that you think aren't pushing you, kind of suck, and you're just disinterested in them as humans, maybe you can get a promotion or a different job or a different industry. Does yeah, that, go work at Google X where you're surrounded by yeah. geniuses that have sold multi-million yeah. dollar businesses to Google and then gone and been part of their moonshot let's, program. Let's Google, I promise you won't think that they're mediocre and uninteresting. Let's Gordian not this problem first, which is... This is pro this probably isn't right for you if you know if you're the smartest guy in the room all the time. And if you do go to Google room. X and you find all your coworkers <laughs> mediocre, it's time to look deep inside. So that said, let's let's come back to the question, which is, um, can you read the question again, Justin? The last piece. Yep. Um, I'm friendly to everyone, but do not share any private details about my life, nor do I care about my workmates' private life. Workmates often seem to hate you when you are good and try to discredit you behind your back. How would you proceed in such a situation? Well, one thing, and these are just things to try, because my, my experience in the workplace is limited. Yours is, you probably have five times as much as I do. Well, I'll let you go first, so I don't preempt you. I was never that good that I needed to be shut down. <laughs> I don't remember, I don't remember this being, I, I feel like there's two different, from my experience, which is going to be not the same as everyone else's in investment banking and in private equity. There were two mental categories. Are you likable and are you good? And people had no problem separating the two mm -hmm. who got promoted was the person that was likable and good, mm -hmm. but no one would deny that the abrasive person was talented or that the untalented person was likable. Yeah. So I've never encountered this thing where, now, what they might do is go to a boss and talk shit on the person for being dislikable. But I don't know how one could, unless it's your boss doing it, I don't know how someone could make your work product seem worse than it is. Yeah. Unless it's your boss well, maybe not hiding your worse. talents to your boss's boss. So I, I think I was not the good consultant. There was a good consultant and I liked him. He helped me. <laughs> he did. Uh, built you scripts, right? He built macros for me that helped me do my job way faster. Um, yeah, they, so I guess I'm, I, I don't know that your workplace is going to go like this. I was only in a workplace for a year and a half. So this is my experience as the guy who wasn't on top, but had no ill will towards the guys who were better than me, except one who was kind of a dick. Um, for me, it came down to personality. Yeah, yeah. It was no, like we had, we had a talent. One guy acted superior and and injected judgment into much of what he said mm -hmm. and thought that he was and made it evident hot shit. There were other guys that were just as good as him, but were friendly, offered to help me, uh, and didn't have an air of judgment mm -hmm. when they spoke about things. That's my experience as well. And I, I can only speak for myself. I r really liked those two guys, tried to work with them, talked them up when possible, uh, and they did the same for me. It was like I I was like, he did so good here. So he was like, actually, he helped me think about it. <laughs> you know, like he described what we needed to be built, and then I built it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, there was a there was a uh, flowing of credit. So I, I don't want to speak out of turn because I have such limited experience here. But I guess I would go to like, I wonder 
one of the hypotheses is are is that is that sense of superiority and complete disinterest in them as a human as long as you feel that it's probably going to come through and they're probably not going to like you and i don't think it's because you're excellent yeah i agree uh i think it's because you don't think highly of them uh and the answer is well can you change your perspective to be more interested in them think more highly of them or do you need to go elsewhere because if you're if you're gonna yeah, like if you're in a situation where you don't respect the people around you and you're cordially pleasant, of course you're not going to have a good relationship and they're not going to like you. And we can attribute that to you being good, but you don't like them, mm-hmm. <laughs> it kind of sounds like. Uh, and whichever came first, the chicken or the egg, like that is where that relationship will stay. If you'd like it to change, you're going to have to be the one that moves first. And that means moves out or shifts internally. No, and you, you raise an interesting point, which is that you don't have to, you don't have to dislike people because they're not, as good as you. I mean, Elon Musk is, I did a video on him. He constantly, people are trying to credit him for everything that his companies do. And he's constantly going, I have an amazing team at SpaceX. They have done so much. Me getting the credit for it just because I'm the face is a complete disservice to them. Andrew like there's Carnegie, not- allegedly that was his big thing is that he, um, and again, these guys, I think often, whether it's true or not, they distribute appreciation potentially wider than it need be. And I think that's probably a good thing to do if you're one of the presidents did that too, right? Which president was that? The general. Um, there's a lot of generals. Washington Grant. I thought there was someone. Maybe he's the guy who <laughs> who um, who authorized D Day. But he said, "If this goes poorly, I will take the blame, and if it goes oh, well, we'll credit the soldiers." Eisenhower was the general. Yes, Eisenhower yeah. was the general for D Day. Yeah, yeah. Eisenhower was like, "It's all my fault if it goes bad." And it's all them if it goes well. Right. Yeah. And but And I guess my point is that didn't cost him esteem in other people's eyes. Yeah. It doesn't cost Elon Musk esteem in other people's eyes. This willingness to say that other people are actually, in fact, talented doesn't, doesn't hurt them the way that one might think that they have to scrap for every sure. bit of um, the credit. And this may not be be relevant to you because you might feel like, and here's the thing, like your worldview might be that they're not contributing. So what might be worth just testing, just testing, is like give them a bit more credit than they deserve. And at first that might feel uncomfortable, but I'm, I'm actually, if this feels like I'm asking you to lie, I really am not. I'm asking you to try on a different perspective where you might be missing something. Mm-hmm. Um that's it's it's not lie and tell them that they're more it's like really see if you can like per- purposely look for what you're missing in them uh and you might come back and be like dude i i tried <laughs> yeah they're <laughs> all listen if they're all inept and awful in yeah, every yeah. way then go to a different company then leave then leave but no, i i have the same thought there were two guys at, at uh, one of the companies that both were going to get promoted because they were both talented that their personality differences weren't going to cost either of them but one of them was much more beloved by the people above, below, and his peers. <laughs> and it's because he was really talented, but very nice, kind to people. And the team got the credit. He, you know, in his mind, the team accomplished stuff. And another guy was just very confident that he was excellent, which he was. And you knew it in the tone he used and how he described things and the pronouns he used, whatever it might be. And not the pronouns, but right, go ahead. Well, I versus we. Oh, uh, gotcha. I thought you meant like he versus she. No, no, no. I versus we. <laughs> I'm sorry. 2021. <laughs> uh, and so I imagine that he, at some points, I actually feel confident that he did, would go home and talk to the people around him and say, I don't understand why the people I work with don't like me. I'm so good. Mm-hmm. It's not because he, he wasn't good. It's because mm-hmm. he was kind of a dick. Yeah. All right. Let's Let's continue. Hope that you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to see more like this and have us do more podcasts, we are 100% funded by our generous patrons. And if you'd like to contribute, there's a link in the description and we'll have one pop up on the screen right here so that we can do more podcasts where we have fun conversations and hopefully some deep ones like this. Either way, hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.